Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated for the homily. Well, boys and girls, we, we begin the Triduum starting tomorrow. The Triduum, a word spelled T R I D U U M, Triduum means the three days of celebration that span uh, the passion of Jesus. So it's a very important time for us as a church, uh, just like Christmas is a very important time. At this time of year, we do things like get time off of school. So that tells us something very important is happening, right? We get a break from our, our regular schedule to focus and think about something very important to gather as family, to pray, and to reflect upon what Jesus has given us. And so as we start tomorrow with the Last Supper, which is depicted in today's Gospel, Jesus will institute or give to us the Eucharist. Our second graders in the school are preparing in just a few weeks. They will receive their First Holy Communion. You probably remember your First Holy Communion very well. That gift was given to us on Holy Thursday by Jesus. That meal, the sacrament where he comes to us truly in body, in soul, divinity, is given to us in a special way. It was achieved through the cross. On Good Friday, Jesus dies for us. He offers his life that you and I might go to heaven. He offers us the gift of eternal life by dying himself. On Holy Saturday, we wait. There is a quiet. Jesus is laying in the tomb. He has died. And we wait for the vigil to begin early in the morning on Sunday, Easter Sunday. Jesus rises from the dead, offering to us new and everlasting life. New life and the resurrection, but also new life today. New life that begins every time we follow Jesus. So in today's gospel, we know the story of the fact that one of Jesus' closest friends betrays him. So Jesus knew in his own life what it meant to be disappointed, to have his feelings hurt. But we notice that Jesus did not lash out or turn against Judas. He allowed himself to do the will of the Father. He remained calm and loving. We are called to remain loving. We are called to act on behalf of the gospel, to do the things that Jesus would do. And when we do that, he becomes present. On behalf of Father Toby and myself, we want to wish you a happy Easter. 
and assure you of our prayers for you and your families in these holy days ahead. Relax, enjoy the break from school, and also take the opportunity to pray and to recognize what the Lord has given us in these very special days.